Yeah. They discovered the Higgs boson. Yeah, right. So now what happened? So here's what here's the deal. Here's why I bring this up because it's what is known as a scalar field. So when you think about the fields that you know of, right? They're like, oh, the electric field. I have a charge. It has an electric field. Magnetic field. I have a charge that's moving. It generates a magnetic field. Gravitational field. Oh, there's this matter. So every field you know of, there's some source in matter. But then here come the particle physics. They're like, oh yeah. You know why every electron is identical? Because they don't say it this way. This is mine. You know why every electron is identical? <laughs> Same reason every C note, musical note, is identical because they're not the real thing. The real thing is the string or the air that's vibrating, right? Uh. So they they invoke this idea of quantum fields. So the quantum field just permeates all of space time and is just there. But nothing is real in that quantum field. In well, their, well excitations yeah. of the field are our particles, right? So they're the permanent ones and they're the virtual ones, right? So, so we measure the excitations as particles. As particles, yes. right? Now here's what happens though. They say, oh, there's this thing called a Higgs field. It's just there. It's just everywhere in space at all times. It's just there, right? Scalar field, no source. And I'm like, in my mind, as a young scientist, I'm like, is that real? 